Southampton resident Victoria Rose is a determined entrepreneur, hard at work creating a product line for her newly launched small business. I was living and working in Manhattan, uh, worked for a financial firm and then moved on to actually an alcoholic beverage company. I was doing human resources there and it was pretty much when I was about to turn 30. What I say is I have my midlife crisis or quarter life crisis, whatever you want to call it. And um, I knew I needed something different. I wanted to do something on my own, but to be honest with you, I had no idea what that was going to be. Two years ago, Rose says she had a vision which changed all of that. She had an idea to start her own perfume company. It was literally an idea that popped into my head. It was one night I was going to sleep. I have a journal next to my bed and literally I could not get this idea out that I had to wake up, start sketching the bottle, sketching the ideas, and that's how it started. It was just this one idea that popped into my head that I can't even explain. So I sat on that idea for a complete year thinking there's no way I could do this. How could somebody like me start a perfume company? And then sure enough, I think I had to hit rock bottom where I finally got the confidence to say, what do I got to lose? And I went for it from searching for the perfumer, uh, searching for somebody to make the bottle and so forth. And now it's been two years in the making and there's no turning back. It's just, I, I can't imagine not doing this. She says one of the main challenges was finding a way to distinguish her product line from perfume products already on the market. It took a while to figure out what the name of the company would be. And eventually I, I came on to Essence Collection. So that's the name of the company. Um, I envision it of having many lines. The first line I'm launching is called Inner Essence. It's made with all pure and natural essences. The bottle's hand blown. It's encased in a handcrafted wooden box. This is a very high-end luxury perfume. So where I see it is actually in the higher end boutiques. What I want out of this line, out of Inner Essence, is to be a perfume experience. So where a woman will come into that boutique and actually we meet with myself, meet with a perfumer, I'll walk that woman through the collection, um, and then we'll determine which perfume is the right choice for her. Rose says founding the company of her dreams presented other challenges that required her to learn new skills and to come up with creative designs for her product line. My background was not in the industry, so I, for me to go to school, it would take too long for that. So I hired a perfumer. We worked closely together. I knew what I wanted. It was all in my head for each of the five um, Inner Essences perfumes. And you know, I knew the feeling that I wanted to capture in that bottle. So we worked closely together going back and forth over f quite a few months to get it to get it right. And then from there, she actually trained me now to create the perfume, to make the perfume. So I am, as you could see here, I do everything um, myself. I'm bottling it, I'm making the perfume, and I'm, I will be the one sending it out as well. You would have alcohol in the bottle, and then pretty much you're just taking drops of each essence. So whatever that is from bergamot, patchouli, um, bitter almond, whatever it might be, and then you're mixing that in here, pouring it in, and then you're gonna let that set. So usually I let it um, sit for about a good two months to three months, and then I'll filter it, and then, that, then it will be ready to bottle. I'll show you how I first got started. This was the first prototype for um, the Essence Collection bottle. So this is where we started a year ago, and now here is where we're going. So again, this is still a prototype, but this is, um, this is where we're taking the line. So it might change slightly the time it is launched this holiday season, but, um, but as you can see, it's, it's definitely progressing. However, one of the most important elements, she says, is that she loves the work and that the company reflects her passions. My perfume story starts when I was eight years old. I was actually attending my aunt's wedding. It was the first wedding I ever went to, so I was all excited, got my first dress, my hair done, and I looked in the mirror, but I felt like something was missing, but as an eight-year-old, I didn't know what. And that's when my mom actually gave me my first bottle of perfume. Um, I remember it to this day, what it looked like. It looked, um, you know, it was a green bottle, looked like a, a little girl. It was actually, I believe, an Avon perfume, but to me, me, it felt like it was, you know, a thousand dollar bottle of perfume. I just felt wonderful putting it on and um, it pretty much transformed me. That I felt, you know, when I looked in the mirror as that eight year old girl, I felt that I could be anything I wanted to be that night. And of course, being an eight year old young girl, I thought I wanted to be a princess for that night. And that's what I envisioned myself being. Looking back at it now, 
is that was actually my first perfume experience. And that's what I want to create every day for women. That I believe, you know, you might not, not, might not necessarily be that princess, but you could be whatever you want, whatever your fantasy is, whatever it, you want that to be, whatever essence you want to unlock, that's what you could do with Inner Essence. And that's the beauty of this perfume line, that whatever you want to be, that seductress, if you want to unlock that inner beauty, if you want to unlock even that inner innocence again, it's, that's what you could do with the Essence Collection line, Inner Essence. Doing what you love is key. And I didn't realize it till it all came together. You know, I've read many self-help books saying, that exact same thing to do what you love and what I noticed was um, as I put my collection together it was exactly everything that I did love I always had a fascination with the 18th century so um, from you know I would envision myself in that lavish l lifestyle you know to me the beauty and craftsmanship was so apparent in in that time period and that's pretty much what my line is about it's um, bringing back the beauty to perfume so the bottle looks like an 18th century bottle it has a uh, skeleton key to open the box um, it's made with all pure and natural essences so just as it was crafted then so to me it's almost like I'm bringing that little little piece of fantasy or history to life in the perfume line. Rose says despite naysayers who say it's a bad time to start a business right now, she says she remains confident that her Inner Essence perfume line will appeal to her customer base. To me, I don't see it as a risk. I know this is something that I need to do. I know, yes, that you hear on the news that with the economy, but there's so many people that started a business when the economy was down. If they could do it, why can't we do it now in 2012? So I, to me, I don't see there being a risk. I think that's what America's made up of. We're made up of entrepreneurs. And if they could do it, I could do it. And so can you. My advice to give anybody who's looking to possibly go out on their own, um, recently laid off, use that as an opportunity. Use that to figure out what your passions are. Um, my, what I believe is if you follow your passions, it's going to lead you in the right direction. That's what I did. So whatever it might be, as silly it might sound, follow it because that passion is going to lead you to, to your goal. For more information, you can check out the website essence-collection.com. In Southampton, Chris Kalora reporting.